Hey everyone, this is Stamping Songbird, and today we're going to continue our 6x6 six six series uh, using uh, and pictures of our pets. Um, so, again, if you hear the little running around in the bells, that's my kitten. She's just super active in the morning. So, our first, um, just to remind you, our first 6x6 six six page layout was with my friend's dog, Luke, and then our second six by six page layout was with my uncle's dog Max and for both pages I use cut files from the Cricut store um, and for both of these I also used let me just grab it I also use the Echo Park I love my dog uh, paper series so today we're gonna continue with our next um, six by six series. I'm going to do two more with dogs. I'm going to do one more with Max, one more with Luke, and then I'll probably do one video with a two page spread on um, two of my cats, and then we're going to move on to larger um, layouts. So today we're going to do a photo of Luke. Now, I would have done Luke back to back, but if you remember the pictures that I had, I was going back and forth with um, which one to do um, based on the paper and based on the photo and actually today I was gonna continue with Max but his mom had shared see I had this picture of Max and he looks so cute and he's a little puppy there so I was gonna go on and use that picture but then his mom shared this picture of Ma of Max I'm sorry of Luke which is more current with what he looks like now it's what he looks like now it kind of matches with this one so it made sense to use this one and it's such a great shot um of him so we're gonna go with that one and this is gonna be such a quick 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 video um because i already have my cut files already built together just like i had here and i've already picked out the paper so let's get started this is going to be super fast so i already have my six by six background Again, it's a navy blue uh, sheet of paper from Recollection, 65 pound. I'm keeping with the same navy blue that I had in the back of the other one. Here I have a 65 pound um, a sheet of paper from an Amazon pack of Nina. I believe it's Nina cardstock. I don't know exactly what color this is. It's like a goldish yellow, mustardy yellow. And this is cut um, a little smaller than five and three quarters is between five and three quarters and six um i don't have the exact measurements but it's right in between i'm really bad at remembering what the measurements are but it's right in between so this is six by six this is five and three a uh, right a little between five and three quarters and six and then my designer paper is actually five and three quarters by five and three quarters so this yellow is right in between the five and three quarters and the six I'm awful at remembering measurements if I don't write them down and I didn't write them down. So again, I'm going to use my Barely Art um, liquid glue. You don't, have to, you don't have to use too much of the liquid glue. I've already backed up the photo with um, a white piece of paper. I didn't measure anything. I don't even know what size the photo is. I just printed it out on my Canon Selfie and then just place the picture on um, a piece of white cardstock and then just cut around it. Um, if you notice, my papers are frayed and that's not because of the paper, it's because of the blade that I have on my cutter. So I've been cutting really thick cardstock, 110 pound, and after cutting for so, uh, for so long, thicker paper, then the blade starts to starts to dull you know when I cut the thin paper then the paper starts to fray that means I need to change my blade so I'm using the same designer paper from the pack as I used in the first one so if his mom wants to um, hang these up at home or in her office at least they match and that's the reason why I mean I could have used any of these other beautiful backgrounds because any of them would work with his picture I don't know if I'm in frame any of these would work, but um, I thought keeping in line with what I've already used in case um, mom wanted to keep it together, then that's why I did that. So 
Not because I didn't want to use any other one or because I didn't want to be creative or step out of the box. So, and it's funny because brown is a color that I don't like and I love all colors. Like I'll wear any color, I'll color with my Copics using so many of the many colors that are available. You know what I just noticed? Um, anyway, I'll tell you in a second. And um, brown is like probably, if I had a million colors, brown would be my last choice. Like seriously. I just noticed, and oh my God, I should like, ah, why'd you do this? I just noticed this, and I didn't ever notice it when I was making the first page, that the paw prints here are facing down, and these paw prints are facing up, and you know what, I'm going to leave it like that, because the paw prints should be facing up. I never noticed these paw prints were facing down. Sugar. Oh well. Too late. Anywho, that's okay. So this is the beautiful, beautiful picture of uh, Luke, he is such a gorgeous dog. I'm like so in love with this dog. He's just so beautiful. Um, so I'm going to use some cut files from a website and I'm going to pull out my iPad so I can show you. I took a screenshot of the site and the actual file that I got. So hopefully I am in frame. This is from Treasure Box Designs. And this is the file called Say Cheese. Now, I'm not going to put a mouse on his page, but what I did was I took the Say Cheese and I took the camera. And I know it's cheese, actual Swiss cheese, but it was still so cute. And the brown matches the brown here. Um, and I had been making a whole bunch of these um, cut files that I bought and then just putting them together and having them on the side, to, you know, for when I need them. And I thought that this fit um, perfectly. So I, I, cut the say cheese part and um, you layer it with different colors and you can follow the colors that are in the picture you don't have to and then the camera I took the camera also I also print uh, cut out the camera and again you can follow the picture but you don't have to I could make that camera any color that I want so that's what I did put that together oh and by the way that cut file you get in case you're interested, because you could use this on a Cricut or a Silhouette or other cutting machines, because it comes with SVG, GSD, DXF, WPC, AI, and JPEGs. No, no PNGs, because these are just cut files. They're not um, clip art images. You get one, two, three, four, five images. This little guy comes with a photo frame. And originally, they're $7.99. She's selling them for 4 bucks. I've gotten beautiful clip art, um, not clip art, sorry, cut files. Um with groups of cut files in a bundle for a dollar so again this is treasureboxdesigns.com they're beautiful beautiful little um, cut files animals furniture you know scenery children school themes all that stuff okay enough of that let's put the ipad away so back to luke um again I have this 12 by 12 just to keep myself in frame. So here's Luke looking off to the side and here's that cut file that I talked about. So in the, um, in the file it shows to have like a beige backgrounds with the black letters and then the brown and, and then the, the word cheese in yellow. So I did everything the same except that I, I didn't like the beige background after I cut it out so I just glued it on to black and then just cut around it. So that was my way of getting around it. And then here's the camera. And um, the only difference here is that I didn't keep the white lens part. I added some gray and then I thought it needed to pop out a little bit. So then I added another black circle and then a gray circle and then another black circle. And then I just took a white gel pen and then just the few little marks around it and then put some white paper on the back um, for this part here and that's it and it sponged um, the little flashy thing but that was it now um, I did pre-make this uh, when I first got the file and then just put it to the side so that I could use it in the future hold on a sec sorry about that it is super warm in here just wanted to move the fan um, so they are a little big 
for a six by six, but I know it'll work. Um, it just, I, the other um, pages, I put the pictures on the right and I was hoping I could move him to the left. And I know that he's looking that way. And just so you know, when you have a person or an animal in this case, looking that way, looking in, then they should be looking in, right? Into the center, not looking out that way because it doesn't make sense visually, right? So my idea was to do something like that, right? And he's looking at the camera. That makes sense. But I felt like, okay, here she goes again. She's doing another layout with the picture on the right side. And where's Max? What did I do with Max? Here's Max. And then here's another one with the picture on the right side. And actually, Max is facing that way. So actually, Max should have gone on that side. But I left Max on this side because of the letters... Um, the color of these letters, they would have blended in, so I had to put him on that side. So in that case, that made sense. But let's see what he looks like if I move him over this way. See, I feel like that doesn't work. But visually, it makes sense when you talk about the photo itself. With him looking, he should be looking in, not out that way. But it's going to have to go this way where he's covering the camera see that fits so much better and you know what that's the way it's gonna go and then this is sticking out just a little bit but that's okay because it's not gonna go in an album I'm actually gonna put magnets on the back of this and I'm and I could actually put little a little string or a, a ribbon so mom has the option of hanging it on a magnetic surface or hanging it up on a wall All right, I think that looks good yep so that's the way to go so let's start with the camera and again I'm not gonna pop any of this up I could maybe I should I pop up the cheese I said this was gonna go fast and all I do is a ramble so oh just an update I was able to figure out how to um, put people's YouTube um, channels onto uh, my description bar or description thingy. I don't know how. I was messing around with um, the studio and I figured it out. I, I don't know what I did, but I figured it out. I was able to do it. So I did link in the last video in um, Max's video the three um, paper crafters that I mentioned. So their links are there to their channels. You should check them out. Um, they're really, really good, especially if you like 12 by 12 um, layouts. They're fantastic. So I was able to link them there. I also was able to link um, Luke's video to Max's video and Max's video to Luke's video. So I'll do the same thing for this one. I'll link their, those two videos to this one. So I'm, I'm starting to get the hang of it. Yeah, I think I'm going to put this on, um, on some foam dimensionals. <laughs> so my style hasn't really changed. I still like to do like the basics with just like paper and not a lot of embellishments. And I know some people don't like that. I know a lot of people like to stick to um, the style that they see. Um, what's that? I'm just going to throw out a name out there. Like the Maggie Holmes style, only because that's the name that pops up. You know, with lots of paper and stuff. I can't think of another um, designer right now. That's the only one, sorry, that I could think of. Um, and that's nice. I like that. I like that style. I do that style. But I also like paper piecing, and I like um, embellishments, and I like stickers, and I like all that. So I feel like I don't have a style. I'll do whatever, whatever. It depends on um, 
it really depends on the the picture it depends on the occasion it depends on what i feel it depends on if i'm doing it for a child if it depends on if i'm doing it for um a couple it depends on if i'm doing it for myself really okay so i'm gonna pop this up but i'm gonna use a foam adhesive these are foam dots that i got from michael's and these are the little ones i usually have the big ones because they're really thick but i ran out of those already but i'm not going to use the dots here's what i do uh, if i could grab my scissors where are they okay so i usually cut off the edges so that i could get those long strips and i start with that i never waste any bit so i start with that and then i go to the dots because then i have no choice so I use those strips first, because why not? They're foam, they have adhesive, right? And they're gonna cover a lot of space. So let's do it. Why not, see? And I don't have to use 50,000 little foam pieces. And my kitten is running amok all over the place, as usual. Because she has to run like a maniac every morning. And then she calms down. So I ran out of the long pieces here. I still only have dots left. But I have another one that I haven't used up the edges for. So I'm going to use that before I start with the dots. And I've seen people use the dots or the uh, Stampin' of Dimensionals, which I have to... Um, like very I don't know what the word is like they'll use like two dots for like a whole project and I'm like that's not enough you need more it's gonna fall or it's gonna fall apart that's only because I exaggerate and I use so much like if I'm gonna put foam on something you know that sucker is not gonna come off because I'm gonna use so much of it and I know that's it is an exaggeration, right? I'm wasting money doing that, and I don't like to. I like to use things up until I get my money's worth, but I feel like I'm not going to create this project, and then it's going to fall apart either. So I guess I'm contradicting myself. I don't know if, that, if, I'm, if I am or if I'm not. Does this piece fit here? Kind of, sort of. So the next um, the next one I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do Max, A A A. Oh my gosh, she's losing her mind. Um, I think I'm gonna do Max, cause then that would make it a four full pages of six by six. And I don't, I don't think a lot of people are interested in six by six pages, but I've always been interested in the little ones. I like the little albums. They're easy to carry around and show off your children with and your pets and your vacations and all that. Um, when I got married, remarried, I did a quick six by six album of the wedding and the honeymoon just to carry around because people were like, oh my God, how was the wedding and all that stuff. I was like, I'm not carrying a whole bunch of stuff with me to show off. So I did a quick six by six and it worked. So that was easy. I think I am practically done. Just gonna put one more little piece and we're good to go. And I said this was gonna be a quick video. Ha, yeah, right. What a mess I made here, oh my God. Okay, now I'm gonna remove these little bad boys, add to the mess that I have on the table. Keep on listening to my cat's bells jingling. Those are, I'll put um, Treasure Box Designs uh, website also in the description below. Ah, okay, yeah. <laughs> in case you're interested, I've also gotten, um, cut files from other places Miss Kate's Cuttables um, Those Scraps of Heaven okay they're all off and uh, Marjorie Ann Designs those are all fantastic alright how is this going to go is it going to go slanted yeah 
Okay. That's gonna go like that. And now I feel like something's off here. It's a little empty. I know that's that's okay there, but this is gonna drive me bananas. Bananas. And I have a hot mess here. And I don't have any black. Do I have black? Yes, I do. Okay, so this here is enamel accents from Wendy Vecchi designer series for Ranger. I can do black or I can do yellow. Let's see. Yeah. I even have brown, but I don't want to put any more brown. Yuck. I'm not really into brown. All right, let's test this out. You don't have to do this. You can actually add um, buttons. You can add actual enamel dots. You always want to if you use this sort of thing, you always want to test it out. You see how the yellow just oozed out and the black took forever to come out? You want to be careful with that when you put something on your project. Okay, I think I'm going to go with black. And I'm going to add... Slowly. Ooh, see? Yowzer. Okay. One... This is hard to squeeze and I don't have any strength in this arm. Two. Let's get the excess off. There's a little bubble. This I did not ah, think of before. What is that? I think that's a little air bubble. That's going to drive me bonkers if it doesn't pop. And I cannot see. I can't tell if it's an air bubble or not. My vision is not so bueno either. Or it may just be that it looks gray. Okay, I think it's just that it looks gray. Yeah, it's just coming out gray, okay. Let's add another one here. Okay, yeah, confirmation, it's just coming out gray. Woo! All right, so these guys will dry and they will look like enamel dots. It's supposed to be black. I don't know why the first one came out black and the other two came out gray. But anyway, this one's kind of small. Let's make them a little bit bigger. Okie dokie. All right, I think we're good. Let's move you out of the way. And of course, I made a hot mess over here because why wouldn't I? Right? Why wouldn't I make a mess? Yuck. All right, everything out of the way. Ah. Let's cover that up. And there we have it. Here is our second 6x6 layout of Luke. He's so handsome. Using Say Cheese um, cut file from Treasure Box Designs. Using Luke's picture. Using uh, designer paper from Echo Parks. I love my dog. I hope you like it. We have one more with another dog. It's going to be Max and it's actually a fantastic picture of him. Um, different from the ones that I had. It's a new picture that I got from my uncle. You're going to love it. I hope you like it. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will link the other videos and hidden treasure box designs below. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.